Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you the multi-kernel regression by Chart Prime. You can add this to your chart by going to indicators and searching for multi-kernel regression and it will appear. Straight off the bat, you'll notice some things. You'll notice up and down signals and you will also notice a trend following line. Now, it's important to note these repaint, but wait, don't tune out. There are some real use cases you can have with repainting indicators. They get a bad rep. But there are ways you can use them in your trading. Let me explain. So at the moment, these are the settings by default for the multi-kernel regression. If we look here, we can increase the bandwidth. So increasing the bandwidth will basically make this line, as you'll see, is going to paint itself a lot smoother, a lot less noise. I'm going to return that to 14 now. And you have a bunch of different kernels. Don't worry about that. Laplace is, uh, is a very nice one. But if we turn on the deviation, we're going to get some deviation bands. Now, these are interesting because these can are really, really, really good when used in confluence with a non-repainting indicator. So if you go to Market Oracle Pro, for example, and load up the uh, the bands in that by going to Momentum Wave Bands and turning those on, we can identify some confluence. So yes, these bands repaint. However, they have confluence with these bands, which do not repaint. So if we have confluence between these bands that do repaint and these bands that don't repaint, then it gives these non-repainting bands some extra justification for why a reversal might occur. So you see the price comes up, we get confluence between this band and this band, and guess what? The price has a sharp reaction. And again, the price comes up deep into this zone, we get rejected off of this band and we're starting to head down and we've actually come to the middle band. So we might see, and we started to see some kind of bounce there. And yes, they repaint, However, they are great when used in confluence with real-time indicators. And you can use them. It doesn't have to be Market Oracle Pro. Let's turn off the momentum wave bands there for a second. You can use it in confluence with any indicator. Let's say you're training with RSI. We see some kind of bullish divergence on the RSI. You see price makes a lower low, price makes a higher low. But we also get this up signal from the multi-kernel regression. Well, that kind of suggests, hey, maybe we're going to get an upward move. And that goes in confluence with the bullish divergence we've seen. So it gives us some extra weighting. You can see here, maybe, maybe, maybe I'd start to call this some kind of a bearish divergence formation that, that was playing about, playing out. Maybe you could put it here, maybe here. Roughly, I'd say it's some bearish divergence. And guess what? We get a down signal. So we have this confluence between this bearish divergence and this down signal. The up signal... However, look, it's, it's playing out a little bit, but we didn't get that same amount of confluence that, that we saw with the RSI before. So you can incorporate it into your trading a lot of ways, and it's very, very versatile. So I suggest you guys load it up, see how you can incorporate it into your trading. The nice thing about a repainting indicator is it does not clutter your chart with a bunch of mess. It does remove duds, which, yes, granted, it, it's in its nature. It needs to remove duds. But... If it's used in confluence, it can keep your chart clean and it can also give you a useful insight because you know what? It's another form of analysis. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped and please like and subscribe.